Mossberg makes some of the most popular and common pump-action shotguns around, from the military-grade 590A1 to the best-selling model 500 and the budget-priced Maverick 88. This latter one is the subject of our video today. Some folks say that the Maverick 88 is just a 500 with a different safety. Some people say that the more expensive stablemates are all just an 88 at heart. What's the truth? Is this cheaper Mossberg worth the money, or is it a dog? If you've been in the market for a budget pump action, you owe it to yourself to watch. I'll be telling you what no one else is about the Maverick 88. But before we break it down and get into it, please take a moment to consider signing up as a channel member. Channel members get access to awesome perks like unlisted videos, downloadable guides, how-tos, and a whole lot more we have planned. Plus, your membership goes a long way to helping us make our content even better and reach an even bigger audience of shooters like you. Thanks so much for your consideration. Now it's time to check out the Maverick 88. Something you should definitely know about the Maverick 88, though it isn't the end of the world, is that the only factory finish option is blue. Lustrous and attractive, it is not a true hard-use finish and will rust readily, something that is a particular concern for the barrel as compared to the aluminum receiver. The Model 500 and other Mossberg shotguns have a multitude of factory finish options, including nickel marine coat finish, parkerizing, and various other coatings. If you plan on running your Maverick 88 hard out in the field or taking it hunting, you must be prepared to give it a thorough cleaning and oiling, or else you should expect rust to crop up. Great news for Mossberg fans, most major components on the Maverick 88 are interchangeable with the Mossberg 500, with the exception of the trigger pack. Barrels, magazine tubes, furniture, and most other small guns are of the same type and fitment as the more expensive gun. Considering how popular the Mossberg 500 is, you won't be limiting yourself if you're thinking about upgrades like enhanced stocks, side saddles, barrels, bead sights, and more. These parts are available everywhere and often available cheaply considering how ubiquitous both guns are. Because you are going with the cheaper model, it doesn't mean you'll be missing out on easy parts procurement, and that's definitely a mark in the Maverick's favor. If you are considering the Maverick 88 for a home defense or tactical role, you'll want to pay close attention to which model you buy. There are two different variations of the basic Maverick 88 security variant, one with a 20-inch barrel and a capacity of 7 plus 1, 2 and 3 quarter inch shells, and one with a 18 and a half inch barrel with a capacity of 5 plus 1, 2 and 3 quarters inch shells. You can make a great case for either. Some folks greatly prefer the shorter overall length and better balance of the shorter barrel, while other people want as much capacity as you can get. The trick is, compared to other shotguns, you cannot easily increase the capacity of the Maverick 88. That's because it won't accept screw-on magazine extensions owing to the closed end of the magazine tube that the barrel nut screws into. If you want to increase the capacity of your Maverick 88, you'll have to clamp the receiver into a fixture and do so carefully so it doesn't bend, and then unscrew the entire magazine tube, replacing it with a longer model and a barrel of corresponding length to go with it. This isn't easy or cheap, so make sure you choose well out of the gate if you're going with the Maverick 88. The most distinctive feature of the Maverick 88 is also a love-it-or-hate-it proposition. Instead of the well-known Tang-mounted safety present on the Mossberg 500 and 590 families of shotguns, the Maverick 88 uses a crossbolt located on the trigger guard just ahead of the trigger. This will be welcome for some shooters because it is more instinctive, is easy to reach with the trigger finger, and also allows much easier use of a full pistol grip stock compared to the other Mossberg shotguns. Having to break down your fire and grip to swipe a tank-mounted safety on or off with the thumb is hardly efficient. On the Maverick 88, though, it is easy, so if you prefer a pistol grip stock, the Maverick 88 might have a legitimate advantage over the higher-priced Model 500. There's a lot more no one has told you about the Maverick 88, but I will in just a second. For now, take two seconds to hit like and subscribe. It'll help the channel and you won't miss any upcoming content. Thanks! Okay, on with it. Another cost-saving choice on our favorite budget pump-action blaster here is the fact that the forend is very different from the Model 500 and 590. 
being a single piece that is difficult to change. Unscrewing the threaded nut on other Mossberg shotguns will make it easy to remove the forend from the action bars and switch it out for one with an integrated flashlight or just a different style. It's a lot more difficult to do on the Maverick 88, and that leads some people to replace the forend and action bars entirely with ones intended for the Mossberg 500. That swap can be done and done pretty easily. But again, with the magazine tube issue we talked about previously, it's wasteful and a lot more expensive than it has to be. This upfront decision to save some bucks for the end user can end up costing you even more money if you want to upgrade the gun later. Because of these quirks, you'd be wise to think through your purchase of a Maverick 88 carefully. If you have visions of certain choice upgrades or enhancements in mind for sure, you might well be better off saving your money and grabbing a 500 or 590 instead. One of the biggest letdowns on the Maverick 88 is, again, done at the factory level for cost savings. There is no rear sight and no provision for mounting a rear sight base or an optics rail directly to the receiver. No proprietary option and it's not drilled and tapped either. Whatever you are doing with your Maverick 88, chances are you'll have a much greater chance of success by mounting an optic. Now, you'll be faced with the proposition of installing a bridge type mount often found on cheap and dodgy side saddles that will be of dubious utility and reliability. That or the expensive gunsmithing operation of drilling and tapping the receiver for a rail or other base. I know I'm sounding like a broken record here, but if you're sure you want an optic on your Maverick 88, the 500 is probably a better bet. That said, if you are comfortable with a bead front sight only, and are willing to put in the time and effort to get good with it at extended distances, you can still get work done with it. You can also install an improved bead or other variety of sight in place of or over the existing one. You still have sight options, but only up front and will naturally be quite limited compared to other Mossberg offerings. Considering you can pick up a Mossberg Maverick 88 for right around 200 bucks at nearly any gun shop, it's hard to believe it could be quality. But believe it, it is. The core of the gun is still Mossberg's proven and heavy-duty action, consisting of twin action bars and twin extractors. You can run a Maverick 88 pretty hard and fast, and it will definitely keep up. It isn't perfect, but among bargain barrel shotguns, it's one of the very best, and the best selling for a reason. The folks claiming that the Maverick 88 is just a cheaper Model 500 are wrong, but they aren't too awfully far off the mark either. The DNA is definitely there and it shows in the performance. If I was shopping for a home defense gun or a general purpose shotgun and had a seriously limited budget, I wouldn't think twice about grabbing the Maverick 88, and you shouldn't either. That's everything you should know about the Maverick 88 that no one probably told you. Far from a garbage rod, the Maverick 88 is surprisingly nice and very capable in its price range and has remained a best-selling budget shotgun for so many years with good cause. I want to know your preferences down in the comments. Would you shell up more for a 500 or 590, or do you feel totally confident with the Maverick 88? Sound off! And before you go, remember to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos here on All About Survival. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.